in this league, you have to make or create your opportunities. And uh, when you get those opportunities, you have to finish them. Uh, just too many missed opportunities, whether it's uh, offensive rebounds, finishing, whether it's a, a drive, great possession, or on a defensive side, uh, you've got to finish. Georgetown's a very talented team. Uh, they don't beat themselves. You have to go out and, and again, create those, those opportunities and, and take advantage of them. And at times we did at night, but Big East game, you have to do it down the stretch. You have, have to do it the last four minutes. And uh, we didn't do that. Yes, Otto Ford has scored 10 straight points in crunch time. What, what can you say about his performance and what it's like to have a player like that? As I said beforehand, he's so disciplined. And, and, and patient in, in his offense. And uh, he just allows his teammates in the offense to come to him. And so uh, he gets open looks. Last one, the cut and post. We were, David called it right in the huddle and told us what was gonna happen. It's just, he, they out-executed us right there. They out-toughed us. And uh, again, uh, an opponent coming in and shoot 57%, that's that's not good enough. You're not going to win many games. Mike, is it, is it particularly frustrating, you know, considering, you know, the problems you've had, you guys have had closing out, to see, you know, basically the opposite happen with Otto Porter, a guy who basically just says, you know, let's just close this game out for us? Yeah, we don't have that guy. We have, a, I think we have a pretty good team. And I think we have a team with some options, and we have to, again, I think we shared the game and had a little bit more passion for, for playing for one another as we did against Louisville, but uh, that's what you have in the Big East. And so you're going to face lottery picks and first-round draft choices. And uh, uh, you got to defend as a team, and we didn't do that. Um, try to go zone a couple of times, and it just didn't have the answer defensively tonight. And then, uh, But I thought offensively we were attacking and efficient enough to stay with them. Just last four minutes, you got to get stops, and, and you got to finish your layups. Finish finish the opportunities. Do they do anything point. different? Do they do anything different tactically? You talked about the efficiency on offense. Uh, there was a big gap between the first half and the second half. Was there anything tactically that they changed? To no, they they they, uh, they did a couple of different cuts that, that they go to, but no, nothing, nothing. They just uh, Porter looked like he was a little more aggressive, and and, and they looked more aggressive in going to Porter. No, I, I apologize. I meant in terms of your offensive efficiency. I mean, you shot whatever, 55% or whatever in the first half. Yeah, like, second half, I, 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 again, I just, I think the assistant, my assistant coach, we missed 21 shots in the paint. Uh, I, that's where I went to shot. That's where, that's where we we're usually do a pretty good job if we get the ball into the paint, whether it's through penetration or the pass. And, and tonight we just, we didn't finish. We didn't finish our opportunities. You mentioned 21 misses in the paint. How much? Do you credit Georgetown's bigs with that, particularly with Lubin going out about hey, Every big in the Big East. I mean, but yes, they, they, they did a good job. We have to finish. We have to start to uh, finish better. And it's just, you know, that's, that's, that's an individual thing. And that's whether it's one of my bigs, one of my guards. You, we, we have to now finish better. From knowing the league's personnel, is this the best you've seen Hopkins play? They're number three. Yeah, he had a nice game. Uh, he had a nice game. And again, uh, they don't throw the ball over in the, the, the post. There was a couple times where we, and again, this is also what's hurting us, the, the small things. It's supposed to the, the front the post. And uh, we didn't do it two or three times. We let them catch it too close. and uh, They don't throw it over the top because of their space, because of their system. And, and those little things add up. Uh, and it's such a small margin of error in this league that uh, we have to do a better job with, with, with doing your job with the details. Mike, what do you see as the reason why you had trouble finishing close to the basket? You have to ask him. Mike, did you notice I mean, how tangible was the difference between your offense against their zone look and against their man look? I have to go back and look. Uh, there was a couple possessions late that I didn't like. Our movement, we just stood around and, and, and watched, wanted Eli to do something or Miles to do something. Again, we're best when we're getting behind the defense, moving the ball and four or five passes. Look, you know, you, you have 17 offensive rebounds. You had 18 against Louisville. There is a 
there is an energy there. There is a there is a there is a toughness. Just now finish the toughness. Reward yourselves with a, with a with a with two free throws. Reward yourself with with a bucket. Uh, and it's just it's a little frustrating. Like it's, it's, it's happening so quick under there. But is it possible it could just be getting in their heads right now? Even though it's like a quick bang bang thing. Anything's possible, but you are one foot away, two foot away. <laughs> you just you got to finish, and uh, maybe it's something they're thinking about too much. Uh, it's something though we we worked on last two days, just seeing the ball go in the hole. Uh, I had a lot of finishing drills. It's just I know we're not going to win many games in the Big East when you miss 21 shots in the paint. You use the word frustrating. What's what's their feeling in there? No, I'm, not, I, I, I'm, I'm frustrating that we're not finishing in the paint. Uh, we had passion. We played we played for one another. That's, Yeah, when you lose, what happens to you? It, it takes the joy away from your everyday uh, experience. <laughs> it's, you, you mope to class, you, you mope during you know training table, you, you're fighting through practice because of um, of the competition. You, if someone loses competition, you're not going to feel as that joy and that 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 uh, that energy that, that winning gives. And so uh, we have to get it back. Uh, you know, the phrase "winning solves everything" is. It's a well-used phrase in this in, in in sports because it does in a way. It it brings the energy and life back, the joy back, and now we have to respond. Uh, tough one. I loved our compete. I loved our compete in a lot of these games that we've. But it doesn't matter. You got to win. You got to go and finish these opportunities, and uh, we look forward to Tuesday. Mike, when you said. You saw guys standing around, not much off motion on offenses. Are those through sets that you're calling or they're calling? No, that's our, our half court. Uh, you know, when we, there's sets that we run during uh, verse zone. And then there's some motion offense where you just, you have to move and, 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 and uh, attack the zone. Concepts. And uh, one of the biggest concepts that you don't do is stand during the zone. And, and we did that maybe once or twice in the last five minutes. And two more questions. From a season-wide perspective, talk about Sea Gears and Wally. How they come along this season? What are they doing? They both have had their moments, <laughs> and they both have their moments where, where they've been inconsistent. And it's just they're working tremendously hard. Uh, love having them every day because because uh, they do both have a joy for the game and a passion for the game. And uh, uh, with this whole team remaining and, and being consistent with your with your with your decisions with your with your energy and your urgency is 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 very important and that's what they lack right now uh, Derek and Kadeem played a uh, combined 12 minutes was it something you saw to them or would you was this a game you just rather have your veterans out there like Derek's P just he's got to finish now <laughs> and Kadeem uh, gave up too many points to to, to uh, play any more minutes. He just he has to learn when he's in there. And again, it wasn't a great game because you always have to think what's what's going on the next uh, after a pass, after a cut. They're, they're doing something. And uh, Kadeem has to stay locked in. And he wasn't as locked in as he probably should have been.